If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. How can I be so arrogant as to think I have accomplished everything on my own? My contributions to science are only a small part of the story. Everything I have accomplished is based on the work of those who came before me. Doubt we should never think we know everything. No matter how much we have learned, there is always more to discover. We should stay humble and always be open to learning more. It is easy to think of ourselves as important and powerful beings, but in reality, we are very small compared to the world around us. We should be aware of our own insignificance and try to keep a proper perspective. We should not forget the consequences of our actions. Every time we make a decision or take an action, there is an effect that extends beyond ourselves. We should be aware of the consequences of our actions and try to act responsibly. Sometimes I feel like I am playing with toys on the beach compared to all that we still don't know. But still, it is important to keep seeking the truth and trying to learn more. We should never give up in our search for knowledge. Could it be that my theory of evolution through natural selection is incorrect? After all, I'm seeing so many new and fascinating things here in the Galapagos Islands. How can I be sure that my theory is correct, but then I remember all the evidence I have gathered over the years? I have observed how species change over time, how they adapt to their environment, and how natural selection acts as a filter to allow only the better adapted organisms to survive and reproduce that I know that my theory is not perfect, and I am always looking for new evidence to support or refute it. But at this moment, the evidence continues to point to the validity of my theory. And what I am seeing here in the Galapagos only seems to confirm what I have observed in other parts of the world, but I must always remain skeptical and critical of my own work, and be willing to change my ideas if the evidence justifies it. Science is a constant process of learning and discovery, and as a scientist, I must be willing to embrace the unknown and be open to new possibilities, undoubtedly for me, evolution is only a theory until evidence is found. It is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one that best adapts to change. The universe is the great book in which philosophy is written. All we need to do is look and study to understand how the world works and find the answers to our questions. The sun, with all the planets that revolve around it and depend on it, can still revolve around something that is located so far away that we cannot distinguish its exact location, even if it were a fixed star with such a movement that night and day could be completed. The universe is a marvel, with phenomena that surprise us every day. The sun is just a small part of a much larger, more complex whole, and we can only try to understand it by observing and studying every detail. But the more we learn, the more impressive and fascinating it all becomes. Could it be that my theory of evolution through natural selection is incorrect? After all, I'm seeing so many new and fascinating things here in the Galapagos Islands. How can I be sure that my theory is correct? But then I remember all the evidence I have gathered over the years. I have observed how species change over time, how they adapt to their environment, and how natural selection acts as a filter to allow only the better adapted organisms to survive and reproduce. Know that my theory is not perfect and I am always looking for new evidence to support or refute it. But at this moment, the evidence continues to point to the validity of my theory. And what I am seeing here in the Galapagos only seems to confirm what I have observed in other parts of the world. But I must always remain skeptical and critical of my own work, and be willing to change my ideas if the evidence justifies it. Science is a constant process of learning and discovery, and as a scientist, I must be willing to embrace the unknown and be open to new possibilities. Undoubtedly for me, evolution is only a theory until evidence is found. It is not the strongest species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one that best adapts to change.